Well, I was born and raised in Duluth, Minnesota. Duluth is blue collar workers, just like the rest of Minnesota, Minnesota nice. It sits on the western edge of the greatest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior. That's where our recreation happens, that's where our shipping takes place, that's where our uh, fishing, uh, it's just beautiful. My family is, uh, has always been in community service. I ran because I wanted to bring that common sense conservative values to Congress. The greatest generation gave us a wonderful country. It's incumbent upon my generation now to make sure that we leave this uh, United States in better shape to our kids and grandkids so they have a prosperous and a free future. It's the greatest freshwater lake in the world right there, Lake Superior. Uh, you look so good, I said. Best night ever. Oh, that stuff in here? Yeah. You know, with the four kids, uh, my wife uh, and I, I mean, we enjoy it. It's organized chaos. <laughs> Are you, you're done eating already? Yeah. Levi, our oldest son is 19. He's playing junior hockey at Michigan Tech University in Houghton, Michigan. Our second oldest son is Luke. He'll just be graduating uh, this spring, and he wants to go into aviation and uh, uh, be a pilot. And then, of course, our 16-year-old son, Isaac. He's the light of our lives. He's an unexpected blessing. He's our child with Down syndrome. And then uh, our daughter, Addie Lynn, uh, is 12 years old. Ike, your favorite, isn't it? Pizza. My wife has a passion for serving as well. She served in the military at Duluth's 148th Fighter Wing. She's also an Iraq War veteran. I am so grateful for her support in allowing me to serve Without her 100% committed support, I would not be here. Okay, about 12 minutes, maybe do 11, because that one's pretty well cooked. Isn't it crazy? It's been like two years now since, maybe a little over two years since we started the conversation about running for Congress. We went to Washington to meet with some members of Congress to see if, you know, what it's like, and can your marriage survive? Can, can you still be the parents that we want to be? serving as a member of Congress. One of the concerns I had when we first started talking about this was how are we going to maintain our family life and stay close with the kids and each other. Well, it takes a lot of juggling and it's, it's a complicated situation with working in the district when you're home and working in Washington. We've never had a nine to five family. Shift work has been part of our life with both of our careers at times. How many you want? It's not easy and we always talk about uh, in the military, when the when you know the individual, the service member serves, so does his or her family. In this case, it's the same. Um, as as I serve a member of Congress, you, you by extension are serving also. But I remember when we when we decided that we were having a conversation, and you looked at me and and you said, uh, um, "I'm not sure I signed up for this when I married you." <laughs> and That's right. But if you don't have your spouse, if I don't have your 100% committed uh, support, it's not going to happen, you know. And I also talked about this cannot um, interrupt our marriage or me being a father. If it interrupts those two, then it's not worth it. I think it would have been it would have been a challenge for me to continue working because we have a son with special needs. Yeah. But, and yeah. the, and the bottom line is is he, you know he he needs extra care and extra extra attention and cannot be left on his own. So it's really a huge yeah. blessing that. Um, that I have been able to focus on our home and our family and our and our marriage and be able to feel like we can, I can provide that stability f for all of us too. Yeah, that yeah. In Minnesota's eighth congressional district, mining is our past, our present, and our future. We've been mining for 150 some years. We talk about the iron range uh, in Minnesota. That's where the iron ore was mined to make the steel. It helped us win World War II. Close to 70% of the steel that's made in this country is mined on Minnesota's iron range. So we're very proud in Minnesota when it comes to steel making.
the last you know weeks of the Obama administration, um, you know they said no more you know mining exp exploration um, in the Spirit National Forest. Trump comes in pro industry, announced you know sit, uh, sitting next to different mining executives. Let's reopen the Spirit National Forest in that area to mineral exploration. Let's not hold back. So together we can unleash the economic engine in northern Minnesota. And I think Trump kind of mirrored that with, let's do it. Thank you, Mr. President. The visit Welcome to me to was an, a pretty galvanizing moment for Stauber. <laughs> it showed all of the Trump supporters that, that Pete was their guy. Thank you. God bless America. Thank you very much. They have a family back at home and they need a better life for them. Just, they're just hardworking folks. Yeah, yeah. In Minnesota's 8th District, the western and the southern part uh, are, are mostly farms. But they go from that little calf to those big, you know, in just two months. Farmers, they feed us. Not only locally, they feed this nation and they feed the world. I don't know if you can read Spanish, but that means feed once a day. I understand <laughs> the stresses that they have every single day. And I want to make sure that in Congress we legislate to benefit and help our farmers, not burden them. One of the, our concerns is um, hiring people and the importance of the Hispanic worker and trying to uh, get an immigration policy that works. The present system obviously is broke and I think there's a real opportunity. The whole campaign, what I've been hearing since it since you know I was elected, the ability to bring workers in to work at farms, you know, that want to work and aim it because the workforce we're short right now. Yes. Not only in Minnesota here, but across the nation. We're hearing that in all the committee hearings, we're in workforce development and uh, training people. You know, they talk about I support legal immigration. Our country was built on legal immigration and legal immigrants still enhance uh, this country today. Uh, some of our farmers and uh, some of our seasonal businesses in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District, the resort owners, they're looking for those migrant workers to help out because they're short of workforce. So appreciate that you did come and took the time for us. When I was sworn in, it was just amazing. I've been blessed in my life to do a lot of neat things. Being a member of Congress is something that it's just surreal. It goes to show you that in this country that we can do we can do wonderful things. My daughter Addie Lynn, Congressman Mullen. And you can whip all of them, right? My big goal is to make sure that legislation that we put forth, number one, is bipartisan and it moves the country forward. I've met a lot of good people so far. I'm hoping for a really, really uh, good infrastructure bill that brings our roads and bridges up to safe standards they need. I want to make sure that rural broadband is implemented throughout this country. I want to make sure that our military has what they need. I want to make sure that Medicare and Social Security are solvent for many generations. And I want to make sure that our special needs population has a voice at the table always. I'm an open-minded person. And I'm talking to a lot of people on both sides of the aisle. I am going to attribute it to Governor John Kasich out of Ohio when he said the Republican Party is my vehicle, it is not my master. And I follow that because I serve everybody. Uh, at least I try to serve everybody. Yeah, that's right. Thank you.